What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Cardano, the ecosystem of coins launching on the Cardano blockchain, as well as some price predictions for ADA and where I see things headed in the short and midterm. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell to be notified for daily video videos. All right, guys, so it's been quite a while since I did a full video on Cardano. This is definitely overdue. Uh, we're going to be talking about Cardano leading up to the launch of smart contracts in mid-September, all the new cryptocurrencies that are launching using the Cardano blockchain, uh, price predictions for ADA leading up to smart contracts, and my expectations in the short and midterm, some new partnerships, and uh, other things I do want to discuss as well. So uh, jumping into coin market cap here, we currently have ADA at $2.15 of 12% today. So this did have a small pullback in the last couple days uh, when this uh, did actually peak at uh, close to $2.25. And now uh, this has dipped a little bit, uh, dropping to $1.90, now back over $2. So uh, definitely uh, holding strong support here. And I do believe demand will be rising for ADA leading up to the launch of smart contracts. So depending how the markets are doing as a whole is really going to determine where uh, the price of ADA uh, lands around the launch of smart contracts. If we do have Bitcoin and Ethereum on a steady uptrend, that's definitely going to be a great thing. So something we do have to consider as well is a lot of people buy the testnet and sell the mainnet. So uh, people do this because demand will be rising towards the mainnet launch and there's usually a lot of marketing planned around uh, mainnet launches and just a lot more focus and attention on this. So that's usually when the price starts rising is leading up to a, uh, a mainnet launch or a big partnership. So people buy the testnet when that happens and then they hold leading up to the mainnet and then they usually take profits around the launch of mainnet. We usually see a decent dip around the same day or the uh, following two days after the launch of a mainnet. So uh, we were talking about this with Ethereum for the London hard fork and we actually never got a dip for the launch of the Ethereum London hard fork. Uh, which was very interesting and demand kept rising and the price of ETH kept going up because the crypto space was in a general uptrend as it was and uh, Ethereum London hard fork did introduce uh, burning ether with every transaction which was very bullish. So throughout the entire history of Cardano, smart contracts is definitely the most bullish launch we've had which is why I do believe a $3 ADA is very possible. We may even see this go much higher than that depending on partnership announcements and what type of projects start uh, launching on the Cardano blockchain. So I do believe uh, when we do actually see smart contracts launch, we will get some sort of correction. But then as we see uh, projects peaking, new projects launching on the Cardano blockchain, I do believe that's when things are really going to start blasting off, which is why I'm just holding out through this. I may take a small percent of profit uh, at peak prices just so I could buy the dip with that and pick up more ADA. Uh, but regardless, I'm not going to be uh, risking losing my entire ADA bag just to try to make a quick flip and then things really blast off from there. So I was lucky enough to get into ADA here uh, in May of 2020, around five and a half cents, right before things uh, took off, uh, leading up to the launch of staking. And that did hit around 15 cents at the time, had a correction until uh, this bull market really started picking up. And as I've been saying uh, since uh, 2020, that uh, the launch of smart contracts would be the most bullish thing for Cardano. That's really when everything gets started for the project and that's when everything can start rolling out. When there's actually gonna start uh, picking up in users and new projects launching, uh, I do believe we're gonna be, uh, be seeing a supply shock happen to ADA once we start getting these decentralized exchanges, all these new projects launching on Cardano, um, needing ADA for liquidity on these decentralized exchanges, just like Uniswap uh, does have uh, provides liquidity in Ethereum, and then we do have uh, PancakeSwap providing liquidity pairs with BNB. And when we did see the launch of the Binance Smart Chain and things really pick up with PancakeSwap, we saw the price of BNB surge and do a 10x in a short period of time, and that was during uh, the beginning of this bull market. So I do believe uh, there's very high potential here for ADA, and I wouldn't be surprised to see this break $5 by end of year. And I still think a $10 ADA is very possible by end of year as well, which I did do a video uh, beginning of this year why I think ADA would hit $10 by the end of 2021. Of course, this will greatly depend on where uh, the crypto space is headed as a, ho uh, a whole, and we do need to see Bitcoin and Ethereum in a steady uptrend. Um, I do think if we break previous Bitcoin all-time highs of around $64,000, we will be seeing a $10 ADA by end of year. 
So that's just my personal opinion. Uh, take that with a grain of salt and always do your own research and make sure a project is something you believe in. All right, guys, so we have the price of ADA getting very close to testing previous all-time highs, which we did have during the market peak around mid-May. Uh, ADA did test $2.50, but quickly crashed with the entire crypto market, uh, dropping below a dollar here very temporarily. So uh, we also had ADA test a dollar again, uh, end of June, and then once more, uh, where we did hit that Wyckoff spring. But uh, as soon as we hit that spring, the entire crypto market was in a general uptrend here. And then we did have ADA explode upwards uh, after the announcement of the launch date for smart contracts. So leading up to that, we have a month to go, and I do think uh, demand will be rising in general. Of course, we will see some small dips here, especially depending what Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing. So uh, de uh, definitely a good sign if we do have Bitcoin in a steady uptrend, ADA will definitely be taking off leading up to the launch of smart contracts. And I do believe uh, it's very likely ADA will break $3 uh, before the launch of smart contracts, probably leading up to the couple days before. So I think it's very possible we do have a small pullback once smart contracts do launch uh, the following week or so. Uh, but that really depends what Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing in general. If they continue in an uptrend, we may see the same thing happen with ADA that we did see happen with Ethereum during the London hard fork launch, where uh, Ethereum just continued in a steady uptrend and didn't even have a dip for the launch of the hard fork. So um, I do think ADA will really start blasting off once we see the success and how much adoption uh, the Cardano blockchain is actually getting. I think along, uh, around the time that all these decentralized exchanges get going, like Sunday Swap and other ones, and they start getting a lot of volume and a lot of ADA is being taken out of circulation to provide liquidity uh, for all these new altcoin pairings. That's really when we're going to see the price of ADA take off. That's probably when we're uh, going to see ADA break $10 is when we do see that supply shock uh, when uh, things really start picking up. So that could happen by end of year, uh, especially if Bitcoin is breaking previous all time highs. Uh, definitely see a $10 ADA by end of year is still possible. So personally, I'm holding Cardano very long term. I do see this as one of the safest bets out of the top 10 for highest return on investment in the long term. Of course, that's going to greatly depend on the overall success of the Cardano project, but I do see it uh, being very successful and I do see it having higher profits than holding Bitcoin or Ethereum. And I do believe Cardano will be competing with Ethereum over the next couple of years, taking some of that market share. So since I'm holding ADA very long term, I have it set up in staking in the Daedalus wallet. I do recommend setting this up if you are going to be holding mid to long term. If you are doing day trading with ADA, then uh, it's really not worth setting up. Uh, you do want your ADA to be more uh, accessible. But since I have a very long term approach to this, I am staking. Uh, so I'm here on stakingrewards.com where you can get figures on how much uh, passive income uh, you're going to be earning by staking ADA. You can find other projects on here as well if you do want to get an idea of uh, good projects to be staking. So uh, in this amount section here, you will put uh, how much ADA you plan to be staking. So let's say I want to uh, stake 100,000 ADA. And this is going to be a one year term. And on the right here, we can get figures. Uh, so these percentages are subject to change. I do think it's more accurate around 5%, which is still uh, pretty huge since it's paid out in ADA and compounding interest. So staking 100,000 ADA, your estimated monthly earnings here would be around $1,100 in USD value, but that's at the current USD value. Uh, we do have to keep in mind that the price of ADA will be fluctuating up and down. So um, it is more accurate to look at the price of or the amount of ADA that you're actually being paid out, which is around 530 per month. So if you do hold this ADA, you're paid out on a monthly basis, uh, very long term, and you don't sell until ADA is $10, then this estimated monthly earnings is more around $5,300. So that's pretty good staking 100,000 ADA. Uh, personally, I'm just trying to accumulate and earn as much ADA as possible for the long term. Uh, since I do believe in this as a long term project, I do think it has very high potential uh, five to 10 years down the line. So your estimated yearly earnings, uh, 13,750. But if uh, you do hold it out till $10, this is going to be $60,500 per year. You're earning by staking 100,000 ADA. If you are holding and selling this ADA, uh, around the time that it does hit $10. So that's at a 6.5% earnings as well. So if it was around 5%, uh, this would be a little bit less. It would be around 5,000 ADA per year. But at a $10 ADA, that's still 50 grand per year if you do sell it at $10. But if you sell that at $100, if it ever does get there, which I think is very possible, very long-term down the line, 
then that would be $500,000 per year. You're earning staking 100,000 ADA. That's if you hold very long term and the Cardano blockchain uh, becomes very successful and appreciates to $100 value. So Charles Hoskinson has explained how Cardano could get to a trillion dollar market cap. This does sound impossible right now uh, since the crypto global market cap of every cryptocurrency combined is just at $2 trillion. But when you look further down the line, five to 10 years out, when Bitcoin alone has a three trillion uh, market cap or more, I definitely think ADA is very likely to have a trillion dollar market cap or more by itself. So at the current uh, fully diluted market cap of ADA, which is around $100 billion, that would be a, uh, 10x to hit 1 trillion fully diluted market cap, which would put ADA somewhere over $20 at that time, depending on how much ADA comes into circulation from staking and how far out it is. So those are things to consider as well. So um, getting to a $100 ADA uh, would be multi-trillion fully diluted market cap. So that could be a very long-term uh, eventual peak. Uh, if cryptocurrencies do thrive in the long term and Cardano becomes the main blockchain that's used in the crypto space, this depends on many factors, but uh, it is possible in the very long term. But looking at the short term, I do think a $5 to $10 ADA is uh, uh, very likely to be happening by end of year. So I'm quickly going to go through some upcoming events coming up for Cardano before we talk about the Cardano ecosystem and all the altcoins that are launching on the Cardano blockchain, which of these that are currently available and which ones I'm bullish on. So IOHK announced September 12th, 2021 for the Alonzo upgrade, introducing smart contracts to the Cardano blockchain, basically uh, the most bullish thing that's coming for Cardano. And then we do have Cardano Summit 2021 coming up, confirmed for September 25th to 26th. So another uh, thing coming up to look forward to. Uh, but regardless, during the month of September, uh, end of September specifically, I do think we're going to get a lot of focus on Cardano. So many projects are going to be launching the Cardano blockchain because there's going to be a lot of hype on this. And uh, there's going to be a lot of focus on new projects launching on the Cardano blockchain. So many projects will take advantage of this to get some marketing out of that. And I think there's just going to be a flood of great news around September and October for Cardano. So we had Cardano Foundation announce their 2023 to 2024 goals, uh, looking pretty far out here, uh, which is definitely a good sign in my opinion. Uh, so what we have here is uh, increase interoperability for chains and world systems, onboard three Fortune 500 companies to hold ADA. That's the huge one here. Um, I definitely want to put focus on. So as we've seen, we've only had a few companies do this for Bitcoin so far, Tesla, uh, MicroStrategy, Square, and maybe a few others. So uh, we're at the very beginning of Bitcoin adoption uh, from companies holding Bitcoin. So a uh, few years out, I definitely see a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies holding ADA on their balance sheet, depending on the overall uh, adoption of the Cardano blockchain. So that's definitely the most bullish thing here, in my opinion. Uh, we also have published new white papers and how to case studies, promote growth in wallet addresses and increase the uh, diversity of on-chain activity. So a uh, good thing they're looking this far out and uh, really planning for the very long term here. Definitely a good sign, in my opinion. So another major thing here is the Cardano ERC20 token converter. This is major because it's going to allow uh, projects on the Ethereum blockchain to easily uh, convert over to the Cardano blockchain which is uh, definitely necessary if you do want to get a, a large amount of projects using the Cardano blockchain. They definitely need uh, to easily be able to convert over uh, from the current Ethereum blockchain. So this is definitely bullish as well. Hopefully uh, this works great and a lot of projects do choose to switch over to the Cardano blockchain. The more big projects that switch over from Ethereum and other networks, the better. And the more we're going to see the Cardano ecosystem grow and the more coins we do have launching on the Cardano blockchain. This means they will need to provide liquidity with ADA as well on um, the new decentralized exchanges coming up like Sunday Swap. So that will cause a supply shock when we do see new projects launching on the Cardano blockchain peaking. And that's, uh, like I said, really when I see the price of ADA hitting $10 or more. All right, guys, so I do want to talk about the Cardano ecosystem and all the altcoins planning to launch using the Cardano blockchain. This one's actually pretty outdated from March of 2021, but as you guys can see, a lot of projects and support in the Cardano ecosystem. So I do have a more uh, recent one here. Uh, something else I do want to mention is Charles Hoskins did, uh, did say they have over 100 partnerships in the pipeline, and the majority of these partnerships are most likely to be rolling out during and after the launch of smart contracts, uh, which is coming up very soon. So I definitely see a lot of attention and big announcements coming by end of year for Cardano. So the Cardano ecosystem, 
Uh, the main projects here I did want to uh, put focus on is the AMM liquidity uh, websites, basically the decentralized exchanges, similar to Uniswap and PancakeSwap. So um, really, I only think one of these is really going to take the market dominance. And I do believe Sunday Swap is most likely. They don't have their coin launched yet, but I do believe uh, that will be happening very soon. So other sites um, here planning to uh, be a decentralized exchange for Cardano is Cardax, Yayswap, uh, Miniswap, Ergo, Dex, and a few others. But like I said, I only think one or two of these is going to take the market share. And really when uh, things start kicking off, um, I think uh, these decentralized exchanges is what's going to cause a supply shock to Cardano ADA because every project that wants to provide liquidity on these will be uh, also providing liquidity in ADA, meaning a majority of these projects will be buying up more and more ADA to provide for liquidity uh, for their project in altcoin. So we also have IDO platforms. The only one I've really heard of here is Card Starter, uh, which has the cards altcoin. And then Oracles, we have uh, Charlie 3 as well as Ergo. I've uh, been hearing a lot of stuff about Ergo lately. Uh, Graph Query, um, haven't heard of any of these really. NFTs, uh, which is going to be huge. Uh, definitely been hearing a lot about Cardano NFTs. And uh, we do have a Cardano NFT marketplace, which is this cnft.io. So um, that'll definitely be interesting to see how that rolls out and how big NFTs on Cardano get. I definitely think that has massive potential since uh, currently all the NFTs are being built on Ethereum. And as you guys have seen, the Ethereum gas fees are just insane. So lately we're getting a lot of new NFT projects launching and the gas fees have been ridiculous. I've been seeing three to times five more uh, cost for the gas fee than the actual cost of the NFT itself, which is just ridiculous. So this is definitely a good use case for Cardano. If they can deliver uh, gas fees under a dollar, then that's going to bring a lot of new NFT projects to the Cardano ecosystem. So definitely huge potential here in the NFT space on the Cardano blockchain. And the two main projects here right now being Bondly and Nifty. Of course, a lot more uh, projects will be launching in here, especially as there's a lot of hype and a lot of uh, the projects start transitioning to launching NFTs on Cardano rather than the Ethereum blockchain. So we also got payment systems here, Cadi and Celsius and Siren Labs. Uh, being the main ones in my opinion uh Cadi altcoin a lot of people are bullish on also so this cardano ecosystem image is out of date uh, this was from may 12th so of course this ecosystem has grown and i really think the ecosystem is going to explode in demand once smart contracts are already launched projects start seeing all the demand coming to uh to the cardano ecosystem and they start seeing the benefits like low gas fees as well so um, really think by end of year is really when things are going to be taking off for this ecosystem. Uh, but I am bullish on a couple of these altcoins here. So the first one here being Sunday Swap. Um, I do think this will take the market share of decentralized exchanges on uh, the Cardano blockchain. So uh, it does have a similar theme to other popular decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. They have cute creatures, simple to use layout. And as far as I know, they are ahead of the curve on the tech behind it as well. So uh, they do have their roadmap here and they haven't launched the actual Sunday coin yet. And they're just uh, waiting to launch this on the Cardano blockchain. So that should be coming up very soon. And um, I'm definitely going to be providing liquidity on the Sunday swap and earning some passive income doing that. Great opportunity. The earlier you get in, uh, the more uh, share of uh, the pool you'll have and the more rewards you'll get. So next up is card starter which is a launch pad for the cardano blockchain the first insured project accelerator for cardano card starter is a decentralized accelerator and swapping platform connecting early stage cardano innovators with our community of donors so the thing with uh launch pads is they're not really successful unless everything is uh in a general uptrend in the crypto space so if we do break um previous all-time highs for Bitcoin and Ethereum, I definitely think launch pads will start doing good again because uh, during all the hype, uh, dozens and hundreds of projects will be launching. And I do think there'll be a lot of focus on the Cardano blockchain since that'll have many extra benefits. And the more projects that do launch on the card starter uh, platform, the better for the cards token. So the cards token here uh, is at $25 right now, up 8% today. This actually did peak out around $80 in May when the market was peaking and then uh, crashed. Recently having a good bump here going from around $15 to $30 having a correction. So I do think this will uh, be moving up uh, leading towards the launch of smart contracts, but I don't know if this will do better than ADA. And I do think card starter will do better once the Cardano uh, smart contracts are actually launched and we do start seeing a lot of projects wanting to launch on the Cardano blockchain. That's when uh, a lot of people will be using 
launch pads on the Cardano blockchain like Card Starter. So next up is the Gira wallet, which is currently in beta. Start exploring the possibilities of Cardano. Purchase, send, and receive ADA, the cryptocurrency for Cardano, available as a browser extension, uh, which is huge in my opinion. I do think this will be one of the main wallets used to connect to the decentralized exchanges to trade through Sunday Swap and the other decentralized exchanges. So uh, this already has a token launch, uh, Gira, which has a total supply of 500 million. So uh, this is currently at 32 cents. And uh, this does have a fully diluted market cap of 162 million. And as we can see here, uh, this did peak out when it launched uh, around $1. And now the uh, current price of this is 32 cents. It did peak out recently again, around 50 cents and having a correction. I do believe this will be one that uh, does move up uh, decently as well, depending on adoption of this wallet. If it does become the main wallet that is used uh, for uh, Sunday Swap and these other decentralized exchanges on Cardano, this is definitely an altcoin on the Cardano ecosystem that can do great. So uh, next up here is ADAX. Uh, which is ADAX.pro, uh, state of the art decentralized exchange protocol. So, another decentralized exchange on Cardano, and they currently have the ADAX token available. Uh, so, uh, just another decentralized exchange working on some different stuff. Uh, definitely one that can be bullish. Uh, but, like I said, I do think uh, Sunday Swap will be taking the market share of uh, decentralized exchange volume on the Cardano blockchain. Next up here, we have uh, Charlie uh, C3 currently at $2.78 and uh, just like all the other Cardano ecosystems this recently peaked out around $4.20 having a small correction here just uh, with all the other Cardano altcoins so um, I do think leading up to the actual launch of uh, smart contracts these will be all going up again but uh, like I said I'm not sure if ADA will be going up more than these since the main focus is on ADA so uh, this actually did hit all-time highs here uh, with the data on market cap hitting a recent peak of $4.20 fully diluted market cap of 277 million which is already pretty big here and this is going to be oracles on the cardano blockchain uh, which is very interesting to see how that goes so there's massive utility that can come out of decentralized oracles although we haven't seen too much adoption for oracles in the crypto space yet the biggest oracle project currently being chainlink which i am very bullish on for the long term so uh, being the main Oracle uh, project for the Cardano ecosystem is definitely bullish. How Charlie 3 works, uh, data is pulled from APIs, hashed on chain and available to protocols as data streams. So uh, definitely some massive use cases can definitely be a good altcoin in the long term. Personally, I don't hold any of these Cardano ecosystem altcoins that I have mentioned. I will be buying some Sunday to provide for liquidity when this does launch. And I probably will be buying some of these Giro uh, wallet tokens as well. Uh, maybe some ADAX, but uh, I'm really waiting to see th how st uh, things go with the launch of the Cardano smart contracts. And I pretty much am just focused on ADA right now since leading up to that, I think that will have the biggest uh, profit here. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Uh, please share this video with anyone that should know about the Cardano project and ADA. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this video, uh, what altcoins you're most bullish on for the Cardano ecosystem and your current uh, uh, end of year price prediction for ADA as well. Um, I will be replying to people in the comments below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you guys like the video, comment below, and share the video. It helps the, uh, the video grow and get more exposure, which does help uh, Cardano get more exposure as well. So that's it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.